hi friends in this video we will uh, solve this packet tracer activity uh, that is troubleshooting ipv4 and ipv6 air tracing friends uh, before coming to this uh, packet tracer activity if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get this type of technical videos in future consider subscribing and don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification message when our we upload a new video okay coming back to our packet tracer activity uh, here we can see our addressing table also uh, the objectives uh, we will uh, troubleshoot the first issue then the second issue and then the third issue we will come to part two one troubleshoot uh, first issue a customer using PC1 complains that she cannot access the dualstackserver.pka web page. Coming to our topology, here we can see our PC1, also uh, our server, uh, dualstackserver.pka. Coming to step 1, verify a detailed help desk ticket. The help desk collected the following information from the customer over the phone. Verify that it is correct. And here we can see those informations uh, collected from the customer uh, client identifier it's pc1 uh, here is the issue unable to access the dual stack server dot pka web page and these are the information collected detailed information about the issue uh, test does the computer have an ip address using ip config uh, yes uh, then uh, can the computer contact its gateway using ping yes it works can the computer contact the server using tracer? Yes. Can the computer contact the server using NSLOOKUP? No. Then escalate to level 2 support. Sure, we will just verify these informations. Uh, does the computer have an IP address using IP config? It's yes. Uh, we will uh, verify the uh, IP address on this uh, PC1. Coming to PC1 desktop command prompt and here we will give ip config all and we can verify the details ip address submit to mask default gateway dns servers okay everything here only we have to verify with our addressing table next test is uh, can the computer contact its gateway using ping it's yes so coming to PC1, here we can see the default gateway for this PC1 uh, will be the IP address of this interface that is uh, G0 slash 0 on this router R1. We will get the IP address. It's here. We will copy this address. Coming to PC1, command prompt and we will ping to the default gateway. Here we can see it's working. Next test is uh, can the computer contact the server using tracer? Okay, so we have to get the IP address of our server, dual stack server dot pka. Here it is. So we will copy this address and coming to PC1 command prompt, and here we will give the tracer command tracer to the server and here is the address trace complete it's working coming to the next test can the computer contact the server using NS lookup it's no we can verify that uh, coming to PC1 command prompt here we will give a ns lookup server address and here we can see dns request timed out it's not working here we can see NS lookup 
is not working so we have to verify our dns so here we can see the message dns request timed out so we will verify uh, the dns ip address we given for this pc1 we will go back to our uh, previous command uh, its IP config all and here we can see the IP address details you will go to our addressing table there won't be any problem with the IP address submit to mask and the default gateway because we ping to the default gateway you will verify our uh, DNS server so here we can see it's a 64.100.1.1 so coming to our addressing table here we can see the DNS server and here is the address it's 64.100.1.254 oh so here the dns server ip address configured incorrectly in this pc1 consider probable causes for the failure note that tests that have been conducted if possible discuss possible scenarios that would create this situation with your fellow network technicians run more tests if it helps visualize the problem a simulation mode also can be used okay propose a solution to the uh, solve the problem yes already uh, we have seen that then implement the plan try the most likely solution from the list if it has already been tried move on to the next solution now we will implement our plan on this pc1 uh, so we have to change this uh, dns server we have to correct it so we will close this and we'll go to ip configuration and here we can see dns server so it's a 64.100.1.254 now we will try to access a dual stack server.pka from this pc1 so coming to pc1 web browser and uh, here we will give our url it's here and we'll press go here we can see dual stack server it's working in step 5 verify the solution resolved the problem yes now it's working then document the solution record the solution to the problem if you ever encounter the same problem again uh, your notes will be uh, very valuable so here we have seen uh, uh, the configured DNS server uh, incorrectly uh, on this device PC1 now we will go to part 2 troubleshoot second issue a customer using pc2 complains that he cannot access files on the dual stack server.pka at uh, this ipv6 address okay here we will uh, try to access this ftp uh, from this pc2 uh, so coming to pc2 desktop command prompt here we will try to access the ftp uh, to this uh, server a uh, dual stack server.pka we will uh, copy this address here we will give ftp then the ipv6 address so here we can see it's uh, trying to connect to this uh, server oh error here we can see an error opening for this uh, ftp timed out disconnecting from ftp server no it's not connecting to that server Coming to step 1, verify a detailed help desk ticket. Uh, the help desk collected the following information from the customer over the phone. Verify that it is correct. Okay. Uh, identifier is PC2. Uh, the problem is unable to access the FTP service uh, uh, on our, uh, from our server. And here we can see detailed information about the issue. But does the computer have an IPv6 address uh, using IPv6 config? It's yes. Can the computer contact its gateway using ping? Is it's yes. Can the computer contact the server using tracer? No. Okay. So escalate to level two support. We will also verify this uh, detailed information uh, given by the customer. Uh, here we will give control C. ipv6 config all and here we can see the details ipv6 address a default gateway and dns server address we will check with our addressing table uh, whether these informations are correct or not 
here we can see PC2 here is a IPv6 address here we can see it's correct and here is the default gateway FE80 double colon 1 it's correct also we can see DNS server address 2001 colon TB8 colon CAFE colon 1 double colon 10 it's correct there is no issue with the IP address on this PC2 next uh, uh, can the computer contact its gateway using ping okay we can uh, check that we will copy this uh, default gateway address then we will uh, ping to this default gateway ping to the default gateway here is that it's working and next is uh, can the computer contact the server using tracer it's no okay we will uh, check that uh, we will get the IPv6 address of our server then here we will give the tracer command hmm request timed out here we can see it reaches uh, till this IPv6 address it's a 2001 colon GB8 colon 1 colon a001 double colon 1 here if you observe this IPv6 address uh, this IPv6 address belongs to uh, which device so here we can see here we can see uh, the same uh, address from the same subnet 2001 colon GB8 colon 1 colon A001 double colon 2 slash 64 uh, on this device R1 for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 okay coming to our uh, topology here we can see R1 and here is that interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 so we can uh, conclude that uh, this uh, IPv6 address uh, belongs to uh, the other end of the link here we cannot access this uh, internet uh, so we will verify our uh, du dual stack server.pka so coming to this uh, dual stack server.pka we will verify the uh, IP address details IP configuration here we can see IPv6 configuration okay CAFE 1 double colon 10 64 it's correct and IPv6 gateway FE80 double colon A but here we can see they given FE80 double colon 1 IPv6 gateway is incorrect we will uh, correct this uh, IPv6 gateway it's FE80 double colon A right now we will verify from PC2, we'll try the trace it command to our uh, server. Trace it. Okay. Trace complete. Now it's working. Now we will try our uh, FTP. It's here. Here we can see it's prompted for the uh, username. It's working. Now we will go to part 3, troubleshoot a third issue. A customer using PC3 complains that he cannot uh, communicate with PC2. Okay, from PC3, uh, he cannot communicate to PC2. So verify a detailed help desk ticket. The help desk collected the following information from the user over the phone. Verify that it is correct. Client identifier PC3 uh, issue uh, is unable to communicate with PC2. Uh, detailed information about the issues does the computer have an IP address using IP config yes does the computer have an IPv6 address using IPv6 config yes can the computer contact its IPv4 gateway using ping it's no can the computer contact its IPv6 gateway using ping yes can the computer contact the IPv4 client using tracer no 
can the computer contact the IPv6 client using tracert yes then escalate to level 2 support now we will check all this detailed information so coming to PC3 command prompt here we will give IP config all IP address so here we can see there is no IPv4 address set uh, on this PC3 now we will verify this IPv6 address using IPv6 config on this PC3 alright we will press ctrl C here we will give IPv6 config and here we can see the details IPv6 address default gateway and DNS server next is can the computer contact its IPv4 gateway using ping uh, here we have seen uh, there is no IPv4 address set for this PC3 also we can see uh, for uh, router R1 uh, the interface uh, G0 slash 2 we have only IPv6 address next is uh, can the computer contact its IPv6 gateway using ping yeah we will uh, check that PC3 here is the default gateway we will copy this address coming to PC3 command prompt and we will ping to that default gateway it's working can the computer contact the IPv4 client using tracer uh, it won't work we have seen there is no IPv4 address on this PC3 uh, can the computer contact the IPv6 client using tracer we can try that tracer IPv6 address trace complete oh here we given the default gateway sorry we will give the IPv6 address of PC2 so it's a tracer IPv6 address of PC2 trace complete it's working here for troubleshooting uh, here we can see this PC1 uses IPv4 and in PC2 it's a dual stack client so we will uh, try to ping from PC1 to PC2 using IPv4 address we will get the IPv4 address from this PC2 we'll copy this address and coming to PC1 command prompt here we are going to ping to PC2 and we are waiting for the replies now it's not working sure in this PC2 we will verify IPv4 address details using our uh, addressing table here we can see PC2 IP address submit to mask and the default gateway coming to PC2 command prompt here we will give uh, it's a uh, IP config all here we can see the details IP address submit to mask and here we can see default gateway is not set uh, we have to set the default gateway here coming to the configuration we'll go to IP configuration and here we will set uh, this uh, default gateway uh, it's 192.168.0.1 now we will ping from PC1 to PC2 coming to command prompt here is the command it's working so here the problem I was on this uh, device PC2 the default gateway was not set okay right so here we can see the completion status it's 100 out of 100 
dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, please comment below and stay tuned we will meet again with the next video thank you